بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونسبحه ونقدسه على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على خلفاء نبيك وأوصيائه وأهل بيته وأحبته علي أمير المؤمنين وقائد الغر المحجلين وعلى البضعة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء سيدة نساء العالمين وعلى سبط نبي الرحمة وسيد شباب أهل الجنة الحسن والحسين عليهم السلام وعلى علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والخلف الهادي المهدي عجل الله تعالى فرجه وسهل مخرجه عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره قال تعالى في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن يعظم شعائر الله فإنها من تقوى القلوب صدق الله العلي العظيم Tomorrow, Saturday, is the eve of Muharram 1441. And Sunday is going to be the first day of Muharram 1441 Hijri. What does Muharram mean for us, my friends? Muharram is not an ordinary season. It's an extraordinary season. These are extraordinary days in the history of Islam. Muharram is a major turning point for Islam towards correction, towards reforms, towards social justice. This is the message of Muharram. Don't take Muharram lightly. God has gifted us with Muharram and Ashura. God has gifted us with Imam Hussein. God has honored us with Ahlul Bayt. It's an honor for us to be able, it's a privilege for us to be able to be the followers in the path of Imam Hussein and Ahlul Bayt. If we can do that, if we really can do that. So let's share the message of Muharram with others. You all have neighbors in this country. You all have friends in this country. Friends, your friends at school, at work, in the streets, in the neighborhood. Share this message with them. Tell them, who is Hussein? Tell them, Hussein and 72 of his family and companions. They were slaughtered on the bank of the Euphrates thirsty. Can you imagine? The bank of the Euphrates. And this family goes thirsty, including children, and they die thirsty. This didn't happen anywhere. Why? Hussein was a criminal. What did he do? Innama kharashtu li talab al-islah. Hussein, his father, says about him, his, his grandfather, he says, This is part of me, Husseinun minni wa ana min Hussein. أحب الله من أحب حسين. Muslims saw 50 years before how his grandfather would cherish him, love him, play with him, enjoy him, runs after him in the street, and he says, "This is part of he. This is going to continue my path." And then this is what they do to him: they slaughter him and his family, thirsty on the bank of Forat, Euphrates in Iraq. We have to share this message. Why Hussein gave himself? He gave himself, he's, he says it, he says that. لم أخرج أشرا ولا بطرا ولا ظالما ولا مفسدا. I never, I've never risen as an insolent or arrogant or tyrant or, or mischief monger. وإنما, the only reason I am doing this qiyam and this revolution, 
خرجت لطلب الاصلاح social reforms the society is corrupt the leadership is corrupt the market is corrupt the politics is corrupt the system is broken down the families are corrupt I came to bring back Islam to its glory to its purity the only the only objective I have to bid to goodness and forbid evil bring back Islam to the track to the tradition of my father Amir al muminin and my grandfather Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the message of Imam Hussein is not just for the Shias or the Muslim it's a, it's a universal message it has no boundaries universal for all mankind it does not belong to a caste or a creed or a mosque or a geographic area universal international for all mankind so we have to share it if we don't share it we are doing injustice to Imam Hussein we are not being loyal to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we are doing injustice to his mother Fatima to Zahra Alayhi Salam we have to share the message of Imam Hussein. Share it with our knowledge and with our akhlaq. This is a season of reforms, so we have to change ourselves first. Tomorrow is the eve. Tomorrow, Laylatul Muharram, the eve, the beginning. So we make a pledge, oh God, make me a better Muslim. Make me a better husband, a better wife, a better son, a better neighbor, a better citizen, a better servant of you. I want to change it during these 10 nights. I want to go and walk to the session to learn so I can change myself. I can be closer to you. I can be closer to the humanity. I can serve more. I can give more. I can sacrifice more. Message of Imam Hussein is about sacrifice. People were not willing to sacrifice. He said, I don't care whether whether one million come with me or only 72. I'm going to leave. I'm going to go. فَإِنِّي رَاحِلٌ غَدًا مُصْبِحًا إِن شَاءَ اللَّهِ You know, two days in Medina shook the whole Medina. The day Imam Hussein left, the people of Medina were running after him. Yabna Rasulullah, don't go, including the wives of the Prophet, Um Salama and other ones. Please don't go, because we heard the Prophet saying that this baby is going to be murdered in Karbala. Imam Hussein said, I heard it too. He said it to me too. I know. I know. I'm going to give my blood and my life. They said, then why are you taking Zainab and Sukaina and Um Kulthum and those? He said, Sha'Allahu an yarahunna sabaya. This is the will of God. Because they continue my message. They are my voice. They're going to murder me. But Sayyida Zainab is going to stand. She's going to continue my path. She's going to pass my message in the session in front of Yazid himself. Lady Zainab stands in the middle of that courtyard, the royal courtyard of Bani Umayyah. No one dares to speak. Sayyida Zainab stands and delivers the message and shakes the foundations of Bani Umayyah. As a result of that, the whole empire collapsed after a few years after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein salam. Our women have a responsibility. Our sisters, our ladies, your role model is Zainab. We have to fight corruption. Today we have many ills in our societies, in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our streets. So we have to pass to the American people this message of Imam Hussein. I said this last night. It's a miracle. Believe me, it's a miracle. You know, if you open now the grave of Imam Hussein, what do you find inside? Do you find a body? You don't find a body. You find pieces of flesh, crushed, crushed, completely crushed. This is the body. And look, after 1400 years, this man who was, who was completely eliminated, physically was eliminated, how he gives hope, how he breathes inspiration and life into the hearts not only of the Muslims, I went to India, to a major district in India, Hindu, Hindu district. And you know the Maidan, the round, huge roundabout in that district, is called Imam Hussein's roundabout. I said, is this an Islamic district? They said, no, it's a Hindu, 
Hindu district, but they respect Imam Hussein. Last year, Prime Minister Modi, he went on the day of Ashura in, in Mumbai, he went to the session of Imam Hussein, Prime Minister, the Prime Minister of a nation which is 1.2 million people. 1.2 billion. He went to the session of Imam because he knows this is a great saint, great leader. They respect. But then in Saudi Arabia, they declare it a day of Eid and celebration. The Mufti of Saudi Arabia, he holds the wedding of his son Omar on the day of Ashura. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. What can you say about this? See how they do injustice, disservice to the Prophet, to his family. The Hindus, they commemorate Imam Hussein and they weep. And the Muslims who live in Mecca and Medina, they are still fighting Imam Hussein. They are still fighting the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But we have to raise our voice. Come to the sessions, any session. Go with the niyyah of qurba. I go to this session, qurbatan ilallah ta'ala. To commemorate Imam Hussein, to learn from him, to change myself and change others. Our majalis are going to begin tomorrow, inshallah. Saturday night, 7 p.m. Salatul Maghrib wal Isha, inshallah. And uh, Salat, what time is it? 7.35? Okay, so uh, the Salat begins 7.30, inshallah, and then immediately after that, the session will begin in English, inshallah ta'ala. Allahumma khfar lil mu'minina wal mu'minat. And we welcome Samahat al-Sheikh Ahmed al-Mu'ayyid. He just arrived, freshly arriving from the city of Qum to commemorate Muharram in San Diego, inshallah. May Allah bless him and bless all the khuddam, the servants of Imam Hussein, whoever serves Imam Hussein with his brain with his thought with his opinion with his mouth with his hand with his money with his soul may allah bless you and protect you all inshallah you receive the shafa'ah of sayyidina wa maulana al-imam abi abdullah al-hussein assalamu ala al-hussein wa ala ali ibn al-hussein wa ala awlad al-hussein wa ala ashab al-hussein jami'an wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh allahumma aghfir lil mu'minin wal mu'minat والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع اللهم بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات من على مرضانا بالشفاء والعافية وعجل في فرج قائدنا وإمامنا صاحب العصر والزمان وإلى أرواح المؤمنين والمؤمنات ثواب الفاتحة مع الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد